What's going on, everybody? This is Kurt Rice at Kurt Rice Baseball. How's everybody doing this fine early Monday morning going on about 1.15 a.m. here? So, hey, today's video, I'm going to get into, I um, uh, had a few questions asked about how do I clean, um, like, labels and, you know, little things like this, like a web and uh, stuff like this. So, um... I figured I'd do a quick video. This was the web that I did. Uh, I took off on the All-Star Catcher's Mint series. I took took this one off and put a new one on. If you see the web, the uh, web and the uh, uh, middle of the web video, vertical laces, I used a brand new web. And I kept this one just to show you guys what I do. So without further ado, let's get started. Um, so... People ask me, what do I use to clean them with? Uh, I used to use Dawn soap, uh, but they've here a couple years ago, they came out with a product called Ball Players Balm Glove Cleaner. This stuff smells amazing. Um, I believe there's their info on the back, right there, top is at the, ad, the address is at the top. But um, made in the USA. Right there in North Carolina. But man, I'm telling you, this stuff works is great. Uh small base business. They got they they're coming out with all types of stuff now. Bat tack and they just had the the glove cleaner and the conditioner and stuff like that. Now they've got conditioner, uh game ready conditioner, uh br brushes now, stuff like that, and I'm gonna get into that. So ball players bomb, glove cleaner is probably the best stuff on the market that I've used so far so all right so what brushes do I use I, I guess it just all depends uh, if I'm doing something like this small um, I would I'll use something you know like this uh, ball players bomb even has brushes they have two types I believe so um, this is kind of angled so and it's got fairly hard bristles not too hard but fairly hard bristles so it's gonna um, getting that grime and that dirt and, uh, all that stuff and get it out of there. Uh, you can get by toothbrushes, little or nothing. You buy like a six pack for probably a dollar at Walmart, a uh, little cheap toothbrushes. I try to get the, um, the hard bristles, the hard on the toothbrushes. That way, um, you know, it makes it a little stiffer and it'll clean the labels better. And plus this stuff. I also have one of these brushes um, right here, a little round brush where you can you can kind of scrub. This has got fairly hard bristles on it, so um, you got a lot of you got a glove. It's got a lot of dirt and stuff in it, and it's gonna take a minute to clean it. I would recommend this one. You know, I got this at Walmart. I think it's a Better Homes one. Probably like I think it was five or six bucks. May have been seven. I can't remember. And I went to um, Tractor Supply here in Tennessee to get a horsehair brush. If it's not, the dirt ain't as cake, caked on on the glove as, you know, you like it to be. You know, something like, like this here, like the web, you could see all the dirt. Or, you know, you see this glove here, how much dirt it's got on it. I would probably use, um, probably use this brush here you know or you know one of these but the reason i like to use this one right here on cases like this it gets more of the area more of the area instead of a toothbrush so so i would use something like this the hard bristles on more caked uh, on gloves that's got more dirt in it like this one does you know right on the back's not too bad but this is where you want to use your toothbrushes right here it's good to get in those in those little cracks and crevices of course those laces are going to come out anyway like the like your labels you would take it and uh dip you get you some clean water and, and dirty water and i'll show you that here in just a second and get these labels real good and i'm about to show you that now so all right so i'm just going to do the demonstration on this right here so I have, I have 
Over here to the right, I have clean, I think clean water and dirty water. It doesn't matter, just whichever one you're gonna label. And I have both because uh, your clean water, you just wanna use it to dip it in and then uh, put it in your ball player's ball canister. And I'll show you that here in a minute. Then your dirty water, you're just wrenching your brush out in that dirty water. So to show you this right now, sorry about that. All right, so with this right here, uh, with this, I, I'll probably just go ahead and use uh, the ball player's brush, but it's all preference. You can use toothbrush, regular brush, horsehair brush is very soft, so it's it's not gonna like you know scratch your mitt or nothing up real bad. But it's only I only use this one in case uh, it's just really light dirt on the, on the glove. So I'm not gonna really use that one. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna dip my toothbrush in the water, come here and try to get it sudded up a little bit, dip it back into clean water right there. You can see where it's getting, do it one more time. And you can see where it's starting to sud up a little bit right there and this stuff smells amazing it's incredible how good this stuff smells and then what you do is you take it and just brush it sorry my camera's gonna move here a little bit so come on this side brush it a little bit go go You don't have to scrub it real hard. Just give it a good, I'll go ahead and brush it all the way up the top and down the limb. Go. Okay, now let's see here. I'm gonna rinse it off in my dirty water. Right there. Right there, rinse it off. Give it a good scrub in there. Rinse it off in that water. I'll show you how to do that label in a minute. Okay, put it in your dirty water and get you a little rag. Get you a little rag, something like that, and then we're gonna wipe it off. Wipe it off there. Okay. There we are. This is how I clean all my gloves with that ball player's ball on there. That stuff, like I said, it's incredible. There it is. And if you if you can't, a uh, little trick that I kind of, I actually taught this myself. Um, if you when you clean this stuff and it's uh, not coming out them holes there, just take you a lacing needle and poke it through, and and then wipe just wipe your lacing needle off. So here we go. That looks pretty good. Tell the difference a little bit already. So I'll rinse it out, rinse this out in my dirty water here. Come back up. And the water I like to use, uh, I, I like to use uh, the temperature. I like to use like lukewarm or just, just a little hot tap water. But of course it's gonna cool down when you do it. So see how it's set it up now inside there, right there. You just take your water, take your toothbrush, dip it in the water and then come over here and dip it in here. I'm gonna go ahead and get this, get this real quick. You can scrub this all over now. You wanna get the back side too, not just the front. There we go. Get that nice and clean. Dip it in some more clean water to get it all sudded up. Almost like brushing your teeth, you know, you take some water and put a little water on that, on that toothbrush and stuff like that, so, okay. See how covered it is. There we go. Wipe it off here. Go white. And even... You can even take just some, uh, when you clean your brush off, you just take some water and dip it in there and, and you can uh, just uh, go in them holes 
and it'll it'll get most of that walk that soap back out right there if it doesn't like i said and them holes and stuff up top take you a lacing needle poke it through there a couple times and it will it will uh get all that get all that soap out in between them holes right there you know you can tell it's looking a lot better so but and of course, uh, you want to go to the back side and do your back side too. You don't want to, you don't want to leave your back side out. But that is, uh, that's how I clean labels and how I use what I use and what to, what brushes I use to clean whatever. Uh, like I said, a toothbrush, uh, ball player's balm sells toothbrushes. I got a horsehair brush, real soft one at Tractor Supply. And I got this round one at Walmart. It's a Better Homes brush. Uh, I think it's their brand. And that way I can grip it better. And if I'm in a hurry or I got a large surface to cover, I just use something like this. So, but uh, as you can tell, uh, it looks a lot better. This is what what I use the uh, Ball Players Balm uh, glove cleaner to clean it with. I don't use Dove Dawn soap no more. So, all right. Well, that's how I clean uh, clean baseball gloves and baseball labels. So, if anybody has any questions about this video, please leave a comment down below. This is Kurt Rice at Kurt Rice Baseball. Y'all have a blessed day.